Now let's say the video file you wish to protect happened 30 minutes earlier. First, safely pull over your vehicle and stop. Secondly, stop the recording by pushing the OK Record button. Next, push, push the Mode button once and twice to take you to the video icon screen. As you can see, the last file highlighted is 13 of 13. Now, supposing that we're videotaping in five minute increments, to go back 30 minutes, we'll at least have to go back six files. So starting with one, two, three, four, five, and six, using the arrow keys, we've scrolled back and we've found the highlighted file, which is eight of 13. We'll push the OK button to get to the playback screen for file number eight. Then we'll push OK to review this file. I'll fast forward it to maximum speed at eight times the speed of the actual recording. I'm searching to find to see if the video I want is in this file. I'm not seeing what I want, so I believe I need to go back to file number seven. I'm in file number eight in folder 100. I need to go to file number seven. However, if I stop the video and try to scroll to file number seven while in playback mode for file number eight, I'm not allowed to do so. So I'll continue watching the video in file number eight and fast forward it until it runs out and I can move on to file number seven. Here's the counter. It's up to four minutes and 24 seconds. Well, this isn't the file I wanted. File number seven is probably the file I wanted that's 30 minutes back. I'll click it and I'll click OK to review it. I'll fast forward it. This is the file that I wish to protect. It's a much shorter file, so I'll click Menu, scroll down to Protect, push OK, and I'll lock the current file. Then I go back and I click the Mode button. It will automatically return me to the video record screen and start recording again.